And here we go, folks, uh, with fourth quarter action now as we open up with Valchase at their own 45-yard line. And Hicks has got a full house backfield as he gives the ball to Devin Sill. Sill goes straight ahead, picks up about two yards on a play. And, you know, I'm looking at Andrew Hicks, and I'm thinking of the first game of the year and uh, the improvement that he's made uh, from that first game uh, to this first playoff action. I mean, it just really is. His confidence has exploded, and Silva explodes for another first down. But there is a flag that will be holding, and there's been a lot of holding penalties called against the Cardinals. So the Cardinals will have to clean up uh, that for the next step in the playoffs as they have been flagged several times tonight for that same type of penalty. So the ball is placed at the 37-yard line. The clock shows 11 minutes and 32 seconds left to be played in the fourth quarter. As Belchase now goes back to their full house backfield, two wide outs. And Hicks goes deep. He's got Ankelard. And Ankelard's got the ball. And Ankelard might have six points, and he does. And the Cardinals get to 50 as Hicks continues to make all the right moves and the right touches. And of course, he's got an outstanding receiver in Terran Ankelard. And Ankelard goes up. Brings the ball down and then utilizes his speed to take it the distance. And so the score now, the Bell Chase Cardinals, 50. And uh, Lakeshore Titans, 14, with the extra point about to be kicked by Peyton Cooper, number 12, the junior in classification. And the kick is... Good. I should say the kick is automatic. And with 11-19, the score now. Belchase 51 and the Lakeshore Titans 14. And we're back in action with 11-19 in the fourth quarter as Braden Uzi gets ready to kick off. He kicks another squibber. And the ball will fall and be picked up by one of the Titans. And here comes a flag. As there is a penalty on the kickoff return, the officials will confer with one another uh, to make this call. And I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, with the score 51 to 14, uh, Belchase is trying to change the name of the Titans into the Midgets because they have certainly come up short here tonight with 11 minutes and 12 seconds left as the Cardinals are just uh, showing a dominant performance over Lakeshore. So the Titans are moved all the way back to the 21-yard line, 26-yard line, that is. As a man goes in motion, the Fashon is back. He's throwing deep. And that pass will be incomplete as they had good coverage by Corey Silve on that long pass as he had his man shattered all the way down the sidelines and went up and deflected the ball. So now the Lakeshore Titan coaching staff has a the situation in their hands, do you continue to put the ball up and stop the clock and allow Bell Chase to score more points, or do you try and run some clock and you know, get back on the bus and prepare for next year? And it looks like they're taking the positive approach. And they put the ball up in the air, and so that's the second incompletion. So the clock remains stopped at 11 minutes and one seconds left. And uh, with 11 minutes and one second left, 
the Titans will be facing a third down. So Nathan Fashon takes the snap, and he's back to pass again. Looks like a screen. They've got Ducree, and Ducree might have some yardage. He's got the first down, and Ducree. And it looks like Ducree stepped out of bounds on a nice screen reception. And he stepped out of bounds at midfield. And uh, while the officials are spotting the first down, we have uh, talking about the Burris Athletic Memorial team. We've got one of the former quarterbacks from Burris High School, uh, Amos Cormier III here, uh, who uh, was the quarterback in the four overtime victory over Newman as the Burris Wildcats uh, upset the heavily favored Newman Greenies in four overtimes that night at Lupin Field and Newman's backyard and of course I could go on and on and name so many great Buris victories from the past as we talk about some of the teams from the Buris in the 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s all the way up to Katrina but we'll save those stories for the reunion at the Buris Auditorium on June 28th from one to five. So if you're a water green and gold, major red band member, cheerleader, athlete, be sure to try and be there. And uh, we now are ready for action at the 50 yard line as Lakeshore will have a first down with 10.50 left in the fourth quarter. So Faxon completes a look-in pass. And Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, makes the stop. And as we've said so many times, Robert Kennedy is like the former attorney general. I mean, he's in charge of the defense. So second down and a long three as Fashion drops back. We've got another jailhouse break screen. And there's a fumble on the play. And it appears that the Cardinals have the football. And the Cardinals will take over on their own and it looks like the official is going to put the ball down right at the 30 yard line so the Cardinals in complete control here as the wind continues to blow in the breeze here and the Cardinals are flying high as Hicks takes the ball and fakes a dive and tosses it out to Ankelard. And Ankelard is loose. And Ankelard is all the way down to the 30 yard line. So from 130 to the other 30, the Cardinals erupt on a nice swing type action pass to Ankelard. And boy, when you get ankle oil out in the perimeter one on one, usually that's a good thing for, for the Cardinals. The clock is running with nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. As Bell Chase uh, looks like they're trying to get to 60. Double slot, Hicks calling for the signal, gives the ball and fakes it to Silva and he's got Ankelard again. And Ankelard's got more yardage all the way down to the about the 11 yard line, maybe the 10 yard line. As the t statistics continue to mount 
for Bell Chase is this offensive unit is really putting it all together here in the second half. Hicks is now flanked in the backfield of both backs with a slot set up to the top of your screen. The clock is now inside of nine minutes. And Silva has the ball. And Nacho has Silva. And the official has a flag. And it's on the ground. And that will be a penalty, a uh, illegal shift against the Cardinals. Lakeshore brings in three subs. They might need to go to the Texas A&M Aggies and borrow a 12th man if they want to stop this Cardinal offense because they certainly have not been able to do the job with 11 men against Bell Chase. So as the wind continues to blow here, the Cardinals continue to fly as they're on the 15-yard line now. Single safety set for Lakeshore. And that can be a dangerous set with the Cardinal receivers if they decide to pass. And Hicks gets an end zone again. So Hicks fakes Ankelard, keeps the ball himself, and goes off to the left side of his line. Offensive line has done a great job for him. And the Cardinals now have 57 points on the scoreboard. And with Peyton Cooper getting ready for the extra point, unless he is worn out from kicking all the other ones, the score looks like it might go to 58 to 14 with 8.20 left in the fourth quarter. So here comes the snap. And there goes Cooper. And Cooper just barely misses off to the left side. And so does, and so does, but there is a flag on the play, and it's going to be a penalty against Lakeshore, so hold the phone. And it looks like Bell Chase might have another opportunity to get this extra point. So the Titans ran into Cooper, and that probably caused the extra point to go awry. And now Cooper will have another opportunity to stay perfect on the night. As the teams line up for the extra point attempt once more. So here comes the snap eventually. And there goes the kick. And Cooper stays perfect on the night. As the score now mounts to Bell Chase, tremendous lead here, 58 points over Lakeshore's 14. And there's eight minutes and 20 seconds left still in the fourth quarter. And we're back. Braden Yuzi kicking off for the umpteen time tonight. As Yuzi's been very effective with his squibbers. And there goes another one. And this could be recovered by Belchez. But Lakeshore does come up with the ball. As that ball took a, a right angle turn. Number 27, Nicholas Mullen recovers the ball. And Lakeshore recovers the ball at the 38-yard line. So Fashion and Ducree in the backfield for Lakeshore. Fashion's back to pass, and he overthrows his receiver as the clock stops at 8-12. And that will be a second down now for Fashion. 
Second down and 10 for the Titans. As the Cardinals now are rushing uh, four men. And Lakeshore has their main man, Ducree, in the backfield. Ducree has the ball. And Ducree's got about four yards. You want to be generous, give him five yards on the carry. That's going to bring up a third down. A gain of seven on the play. So the clock continues to run in the fourth quarter. And the uh, Bell Chase band continues to play. Cheerleaders continue to cheer as they have a lot to cheer and play about tonight. The Cardinals have been very impressive in this first round action of the playoffs. And there goes a, a play in the backfield. They tried to go to a bubble screen. Jailhouse screen, whatever you want to call it. And there's a Lakeshore player down on the field. And while they attend to him, we'll let you attend to our local sponsors. And so the young man, Johnny Papa, from Lakeshore, uh, walks off the field to play underneath his own power. So that's good to see. He was down momentarily. And Lakeshore is coming in. Uh, to punt the ball. So Lakeshore came in with a five and five record and will uh, go down and defeat tonight, but it's been a good season for him. Anytime you make the playoffs and Bell Chase, uh, for some reason is calling a timeout. So uh, we'll return to action after this short break. As Bell Chase Enjoying a great victory here tonight. They completely dominated the Titans as they get ready to receive the punt. And the ball is going to take a Lakeshore roll all the way down to the 15 yard line. Where the ball will be placed. And the chain will mark off 10 yards for the Cardinals. And let's see if the Cardinals are gonna send their first unit back out on the field or if they give some of the younger kids an opportunity to play in this state playoff action. So Coach Harrison uh, has his team ready to go as they break, get out on the field. And this will be some of the younger kids. But it looks like Hicks, number eight, is still out on the field, uh, directing action. And we have a timeout once more from Bell Chase. And so, Belchase takes a timeout with six minutes and 10 seconds left. And at this stage of the game, let's hope it's a 30 second timeout as they get the right people out on the field. And they bring the play in. And it looks like they uh, will be ready to go here as the official starts the 25 second clock. Lakeshore uh, bluffing a, a blitz. Looks like both uh, linebackers are trying to come in the same gap. Now they back off. And Hicks throws a quick pass to the sidelines. And we have another flag on a play. So now it almost looks like it's a flag core outfit as the Cardinals uh, have another false start. And at this point in the game with five minutes and 42 seconds left and a score of 58 to 14, uh, I think it's about time for the Lakeshore team to crank up the bus and get back on the road 
They have a safe trip going back home across the causeway. Lakeshore is located in Mandeville. So the penalty uh, appears to be declined. And Hicks is still on the field with some of the younger players. And the ball carrier goes down as another flag comes flying. And uh, oh, the flags are really starting to pop up now as this game starts to wear down not only the ball players, but it seems like the officials. And this one's going to go against Lakeshore. And that's going to be a personal foul penalty against Lakeshore. So Lakeshore getting a little frustrated with the outcome of this game and with the scoreboard. Reading 58 points for Bell Chase and only 14 for themselves. Bell Chase will put the ball in play at the 30 yard line. The signal is being relayed in from the sidelines as Hicks hands off. And the, the, the back for Belchase bobble the ball, but continued to go forward, retrieve the ball, and pick up the first down. So first string, second string, doesn't really matter which string is in the game. The Cardinals continue to move the chains. So we hope that the uh, Lakeshore fans and all of their contingent has a safe trip back as uh, Hicks completes a pass to Braden Uzi. And the Cardinals are intent on trying to break 60, it looks like, with four minutes and three seconds left as the Cardinals move into Titan territory. And now the Cardinals call timeout. And we'll take another timeout. And with 3.55 left in the fourth quarter, we're back with your local cable network to bring you the exciting action as the Bell Chase Cardinals continue to move the ball downfield. And Freddie Smith picks up uh, some yardage on the play, but there's another flag on the play. So let's see, uh, this is going to go against Lakeshore, and the ball will be moved down to the 26 yard line of Lakeshore as the Cardinals subs get in on the, the fun and Activities here as they move the ball down the field. So first string, second string, as I said before, everybody's on a shoestring. The Cardinals just continue to roll and string together some good calls as they move the ball down the field. But this time, the defensive unit for Lakeshore Stops the ball carrier for minus yardage. So the clock now is inside of three minutes in the fourth quarter here. And Bell Chase really is just probably now just waiting to see who they're going to play in the second round of the playoffs. And they will have to travel no matter which team wins in the other bracket. Bell Chase will be on the road next week. But as long as you're playing, it doesn't make any difference if you're home or traveling, you're still playing. And so Lakeshore now 
thinking that Valchase would just continue to run the clock up as stacking up the line of scrimmage and stacking up the ball carrier for another loss of yardage. Third down and 15 for the Cardinals. So with a third and 15, let's see if the Cardinals keep it on the ground or if they put the ball up. And we're now inside of two minutes. This undoubtedly would be two down territory. I doubt if the Cardinals punt. They'll probably just keep, keep running on fourth down. As the play is now out on the field. And there is the pass completed to Ingram, number 21. Austin Ingraham. And uh, Ingraham picks up a couple of yards. And that brings up a fourth down. And of course, the Cardinals, uh, with the ball inside the 30 yard line, will go ahead and put the ball in play here and try and pick up this first down as the clock will run inside of a minute before this play takes place. Quarterbacks waiting for the 10 second rule from the official and the secondary. And that is when the official puts his hand up, that means there's only 10 seconds left. And so Ingraham, number 21, sweeps to the side and he is cut down at the 30 yard line. And so the Titans take over at the 30 yard line. And there's only 39 seconds left. So we hope that the, uh, all the teams and Bell Chase and uh, Lakeshore has a safe journey home. We hope that the Thibodeau officials who work this game have a safe journey back to Thibodeau. And Nathan Fashon uh, back to put the ball in play. And we have a flag legal substitution against North Shore. And I don't see uh, how that can make a difference at this point in the ball game. But nonetheless, the flag was dropped. Fashion with Ducree in the backfield, his workhorse, hands off. And the ball carrier gets all the way up to the 29 yard line. And we have a timeout called by North Shore. So it looks like that North Shore with 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter and the game about to be over is looking to try and get the call in from the sidelines. The Bell Chase defense is ready. They hand the ball off on a sweep, the jet sweep. And uh, Ducree, it's all the way up to the 35 yard line. Uh, correction, that was uh, Rex Shepard. And the clock is now inside of 10 seconds and it looks like they won't have a flag. <laughs> and uh, and that the play uh, brings the old ball game over as the Belchase Cardinals are successful in their first round of state playoff action with a tremendous 58 to 14 victory over the Lakeshore Titans. And we will return after a, a note from our sponsors for the player of the week. Well, the final action is over. Belchase takes the first step in the state playoffs with a tremendous 58 to 14 victory over Lakeshore, who is from the North Shore in Mandeville. And I'll tell you what, the play of the week has to go to Andrew Hicks. What an outstanding game this young quarterback from Belchase, a junior in classification, has done for Belchase. I look back from the first game of the season and I see the improvement, the confidence, and just uh, the overall ability. He can run it, he can throw it. And of course, he has such, so many great compliments. But Andrew Hicks tonight is the player of the week as Bell Chase advances to the second round of the state playoffs in Class 4A action.